Hey, what's going on, everybody? Game Visa here. I'm going to show you how to change your boot logo, slash uh, splash screen, how, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I'm booting up the PC now. Let you get a view of what I got going on here. So there's my splash screen. I'm going to push delete because I also want to show you something else too. Okay, um, I'm going to show you guys how to change your, uh, your boot logo there. But something I wanted to show you is, I believe it's under me or favorites here. Yeah, okay. Um, after I show you guys how to uh, change your boot logo, you will need to come back into BIOS and go under, at least on the Aces board, it's under my favorites. And where it says boot logo display, you're going to need to change that to full screen because the first time that you um, you do this successfully the boot logo will be set to small and it'll only cover about that much of the screen but uh, once you come in here and change that to full screen it'll show what you just saw so anyways we'll just uh, do that I'm going to let you see the boot logo one more time and then we're going to boot into Windows and I'm going to show you how to do it on your own and you can pick whatever you want Pretty cool, right? I think it's awesome. But anyways, here we go. Hey everybody. Okay, so we're in Windows here. I'm gonna finish showing you guys how to get your boot logo to look like mine did. You saw I had the Joker image there. And um, you can pick any picture you want as far as I know. I've only done just the one, but... Um, actually, I believe that's my second time changing it. Um, but... Anyways, um, I haven't found an image that it didn't that it rejected, so um, I don't know. Hopefully, you'll have the same experience when you do this. But, anyways, um, I'm gonna walk you through the steps of doing this. Just please uh, note that this only works with um, Asus motherboards because um, we're gonna be using their software to do this. Now, um, another thing to note is when we create the image. Um, you're going to flash your BIOS and uh, basically something else that's going to happen is if you have any settings saved like maybe you did a manual overclock or something um, it's all going to be gone and it's going to be reset to factory settings even if you specifically saved a profile it's going to be gone um, you're going to just start fresh so just be aware of that that if you have a profile that you like I'm not sure if you might be able to save it onto a flash drive or something but um, that's going to be gone when you do this, so just just a heads up. Um, but I'm sure if you're into the BIOS tweaking thing, then um, it's not a big deal for you. You could just go back and put all your stuff back the way it was. But anyways, so um, now that we're in Windows here, you're going to need to do uh, download two things. Um, if you don't have them already, you're going to need the Asus AI Suit 3 if you're on a current motherboard. Um, if you're on an older board, um, that doesn't use, that will not use AI Suit 3. Um, you can also use um, Asus AI Suit 2 along with a program that they have for some of their older boards called uh, Bootloader or something like that. Um, and that'll work. Um, and it should, you should be able to find it on the Asus site, all the same stuff. Um, but for the current boards, you're going to use AI Suit 3, and this is how you're going to do it. So you're going to go to the Asus page, and you're going to go to click on support, and then you're going to click on consumer, and you're going to type in your board type, but yeah, then you're going to type in your board type, and uh, once you get that going, and you find your stuff, you're going to click on it, and it's going to take you to a page like this, so you can see here, here's my motherboard. Um, and it'll start off under facts or something. Just click on tools, drivers and tools, and then it's going to ask you for your operating system. Select yours. I have Windows 10 64. And I'm going to need to download the latest BIOS. So right here, 324. So I would download this. And then if you don't have it already, come down 
and get the AI suit three. Okay. And install this because you need this along with the BIOS together because they work together. So here's my BIOS here, my downloaded one. Just minimize that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop it to the desktop like that. Okay. So I got that ready. And I'm going to go to images here and um, just type in the Joker. Images here, and just pick something alike, right? So, just for example, if I like, really wanted this picture here, um, I could pick this one. Um, another tip I would recommend is picking a higher definition. So, going to size and just pick a large photo. That way, it's not going to take you forever to find what you like. Um, and just pick whatever. So I'm just gonna just pick this and save as to the desktop. So I'll just pick that. Okay, so here it is. Now we have the BIOS. Really? Try to reopen that. There we go. Okay, so now I have the picture and the BIOS. Um, so now I'm going to open AI Suit 3. Aesis, AI Suit 3. Yes. It's going to run some little corner thingy. There it goes. Expand this here. Okay, so now when you have the suit running here, um, you're going to see all this stuff here, and you're just going to come over here, click on this. Okay, okay, so I think I messed up. Um, it's not BIOS flashback, but you're going to go into Easy Update. Um, and you're going to manually, yeah, this is the one. You're going to manually get your uh, boot logo or BIOS. See here? It's pretty cool. So, um,. Pick that, pick the BIOS there. So did you see what I did there? I just clicked this and then on my desktop where I moved the uh, icon for the updated BIOS there. Just like that. And then down here there's going to be this part that uh, says my logo. It's going to show up. And now you can see it shows the computer screen and pick an image. So I picked this Joker image I just got off the internet. And you'll see it shows up um, small here, but uh, don't worry about that because once we flash the BIOS and it sets this image, we can go back into the BIOS and set the BIOS logo boot logo to full screen and it'll show it much bigger. Now you're still going to have some black bars because it doesn't give you the full full screen, but it'll cover most of the screen and it's pretty cool. So if you got an image that has more of a black or dark background, it'll blend in and it won't sh it won't really pop out as a a separate image. Um, so that's just something else to think about. Um, but I'm not going to flash my BIOS and lose all my settings. But this is basically how you do it. Um, you're going to have to do a restart um, while it's restarting. Um, it's going to flash your BIOS over with this new one and your boot logo and um, while you're in BIOS over there, you can go ahead and go into BIOS, change this to full screen, and uh, let it finish out and restart, and then you'll be done. That's it. It'll just forever be that way. And if you want to change it, you got to do this again. Um, I don't know if it'll let you just change just the logo without doing another BIOS update. So I'm going to see if it'll let me do that now. See, I don't think it will um, because I want you to select your BIOS still. Um, maybe, 
Maybe somewhere in settings is my original BIOS. Not sure. But, uh, or in the C drive. But this is the easiest way to do it. Just download you the current BIOS, select it, let it do its thing, and then just click on my logo, add your picture, whatever it is. Um, and do it that way. So, once this is done, um, it'll give you your whatever picture you picked and run through the courses. And it's really nice because it just works. Uh, it does a good job. And uh, I know, like, boot logos are kind of an old school thing that used to be fun. But I still think they're cool. And um, I know a lot of people have a hard time changing theirs successfully. But if you have an Asus board, they made it really, really simple to do it. Especially if you got a modern Asus board that'll use the new AI suit. Um, you're good to go. Um, every picture I've I've picked. I've only done it twice, but it, everything I've loaded in there, it's it's accepted it. Um, I know a lot of boot uh, boot logo loaders and stuff like that. They are real picky about the image type, but I haven't ran into that issue yet. So um, yeah, so that's how it's going to be done, guys. And just pick your favorite, whatever it is you're into, or make your own, or maybe you have a YouTube channel or something you can make your own on a like a collage creator and load it in there. That'd be pretty cool. So, um, anyways, guys, um, that's how you do that, and it's real easy. I hope this helps you out. Um, if you're not on an Aces board, I'm, I don't have any good advice for you because uh, I just don't. I, I only buy uh, Aces motherboards, so um, I wouldn't really have a good idea of where to tell you to go next. But um, for those of you who are on the Aces boards, it's this is going to be much easier. Uh, thing to accomplish. So, anyways, guys, have a good one.